Welcome to Relocating to Disney. Well, Miller's Ale House opened up in Claremont, Florida a few months ago, and we have avoided it because it's been just way too busy. We've even tried coming here, 45 minute waits, no way. We're going uh, to give it a try today, so I can give you a review, so come along with us. Miller's Ale House is pretty popular around these areas, and we've been to the one uh, in Kissimmee uh, multiple times. Never really understood what the attraction was, but uh, you know, lots of really good raves about the, the Claremont location. So uh, we're really looking forward to checking this out. All right, so pretty good flavor with the chicken. Onions could be done a little bit more. I didn't get the bell peppers with this. Um, otherwise, pretty good. Okay, here's the macaroni and cheese, giant noodles. Huh, that's interesting, like a Maybe a Parmesan cheese or something. It's not bad. Just interesting flavor. Okay, this was not a great experience. And, you know, I've been warned, don't give bad reviews because people don't like to see bad reviews. But I've got to be honest with you. This was a bad experience. And I want to say most of it was probably the waitress was having an off day but that only explains part of it let's start off with how long we had to wait for food so let me show you that on the screen So the salad arrived and uh, we had ordered a side salad to go with the fish and chips. Instead, she delivers a full dinner salad. Now we don't know the difference, we've never ate here before. But the bill comes along and we got charged for the full dinner salad. So the Caesar salad arrived, it was wrong because we wanted ranch dressing, the Caesar salad, so Caesar dressing. So we sent it back. So we get the correct salad now with the ranch and half of the romaine is, it was brown and rotted. So my soup finally arrived and uh, the soup was actually pretty good. Uh, the only problem was it wasn't hot, it was lukewarm. And I've gotten sick off of lukewarm soup before, but this is tomato soup, so I think I'm, I'm fairly safe. Usually if it's a meat-based soup, I will send it back if it's this temperature. So my wife had the fish and chips and the fish was was greasy, but she said it was it was good. I really can't explain why it was greasy unless maybe they didn't drain it enough or something like that. But hey, it is deep fried, so it's gonna be a little greasy. This was really greasy. I had the fajitas. Now let me tell you my ranking of fajitas in town. Uh, number one fajitas in town is chilies, of course. Number two, and this might surprise you a little bit, number two is Beef O'Brady's. Really enjoy their 
uh, I really enjoy their fajitas. So this one did not knock out any of the existing top two fajitas in this town. The fajitas were good. The onions were a little undercooked, but it's not the end of the world. Um, it, it was good, just again, not one of the best. Now, we sat there and waited a long time for the soup and salad. Finally, we had to remind the waitress that we had ordered soup and salad. I mean, we've been to restaurants where the waitress totally forgot and our meal show up. And I think that's what was gonna happen today if we didn't remind her. The menu says the fish and chips comes with coleslaw and fries. So we don't like coleslaw. So the idea was let's swap the coleslaw out and get macaroni and cheese. Well, the waitress says, it, it, even though the menu says it comes with coleslaw, it really doesn't come with coleslaw. All right, that's weird. And so therefore you can't swap out the coleslaw because it only has one side. So we said, that's fine. Just add on the macaroni and cheese. And we still want the French fries. She said, okay. Well, the food arrives, no fries. So the fries show up later. Now, what we wanted was just, you know, the side of fries that come with the meal. What we received was some kind of family size fries, shareable portion fries. That's, that's not what we wanted. That's not what we ordered, uh, but we paid for it. It would have been nice if the manager went around and visited every table like they do at Texas Roadhouse and just check in to see how things are going. But honestly, the manager was so busy going table to table, just fixing screw ups and complaints. He was, he was very busy just dealing with that. Uh, if he had stopped by, maybe we would have said something. I mean, we're not big complainers. We're not gonna call the manager over and complain about things because yeah, I got a YouTube channel. I can do it here. So that's the report here for Miller's Ale House in Claremont. Not a very good report. Thank you for watching.